What are we doing? Now we're just recording, taking some pictures, getting B-roll footage. Nothing nefarious, my friend. For what? Oh, I can't disclose that right now. It would jeopardize what we're working on, but we're just working on a story on the hotel. Other than that, we really can't disclose much. Um, well, I've had a, I have a lot of guests that uh -huh. feel uncomfortable with you calling, so if you guys don't leave the property... Well, I'm on the public street, the public access. I'm going to have to call the police. Uh-oh. But, but, sir, uh -oh. I'm on the public access. I haven't been on your property. All right, guys, we made it. Dinah's Garden Hotel, Palo Alto. I may be saying that wrong. Go easy on me in the comment section, guys. Looks like we got the valet parking. Um, before we get into this, let me just give you a little history. Dinah's Garden Hotel is a family-owned and operated hotel in the heart of Palo Alto since 1957. They have 129 rooms, including suites, and prices range anywhere from about $199 up to uh, almost $600 per night if you were to stay on a Friday or Saturday night. As far as amenities go, they have a outdoor pool. There's an on-site steakhouse. They have a gift shop where you can buy snacks and whatnot, free internet, free parking. There's also a fitness center, a business center, and guys, they are pet friendly. Yeah, baby. What I really like about this uh, location and what makes it really unique is the lush gardens. They have banana trees, palm trees, some uh, bamboo, lots of flowers. They're cement sculptures. I mean, it's just a really unique property in general. Honestly, guys, you know, when you're actually on the property, you almost feel like you're on an island getaway. You don't even realize, you know, you're in the heart of Palo Alto. When I was on their website, it says they have a koi pond, a Japanese bridge, Lots of cement sculptures, as mentioned, and even a gazebo. So definitely a unique property. Let's see if they honor and respect my rights, guys. Hopefully all goes well. I'd love to give them a pass. I mean, I'm not here to cause trouble. I just want to get some B-roll footage, you know, exercise my rights and be on my way. Simple as that. There's Nasty Nathaniel. He's out here with me today. Definitely an OG in the auditing community. Go check him out on YouTube and tell him Anthony X sent you. And definitely look for my full videos on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok, baby. That being said, let's get back into it. All right, kind of hard to see with the glare of the sun, but this is the front lobby. Looks like the entrance where you can uh, park in the front if you want to self-check-in, or you can kind of curve around to go back to that uh, valet parking. BMW right here, pulling in. She was wearing a mask, guys. Always funny when people wear a mask when they're driving in their own vehicle. But, you know, it's their choice, guys. All right, we got maybe some uh, more customers uh, pulling up for the night. So that door keeps opening. They got a motion sensor. I think someone's standing. It's hard to tell with the glare, but it looks like someone's uh, over there maybe watching us right by the door. Maybe I should moon them. If you look right over there, you can see them right in that window there. All right, we got somebody else coming in here. All right, got the door opening again. Someone might be coming in out of there. Uh, older model Mercedes pulling in there. Oh, Mercedes guy's coming back here. Looking for his parking spot. Got one guy coming out here, guys. Oh, nope, he's on the microphone. Well, you approached me, my brother, um, and I'm recording. Sorry. I'll tell you what. I'll give you. I'll, I'll stop recording for three seconds if you want to walk away from my camera. 
Um, well, I've had a, I have a lot of guests that uh -huh. feel uncomfortable with you calling. So if you guys don't leave the property, well, I'm on the public street, the public access. I'm gonna have to call the police. Uh oh. But, but sir, uh -oh. I'm on the public access. I, I haven't been on your property. This okay, is a public so street. I'm gonna call the police. Okay, hey, can, hey, wait. I'm sorry, I'm just doing my job. No, I hear you, but is there any I'm way we... No, job. I hear you. If they keep calling me... Is there any way... I'm not... No, I hear you, brother. You're just doing your job. But is there any way we could work this out? And, like, you know, maybe I can give I you some money? I just want to know, like, why are you guys recording so I can let them know? Like, are you guys doing well, a for, movie? Well, first off, yeah, I just want to tell you, you're very handsome, sir. Huh? You're very handsome. <laughs> okay, Would um... you like to have a drink sometime, or...? <laughs> I'm serious. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go now, so I'm not gonna call the police. I don't know what you guys are doing. I appreciate but... it, brother. Yeah, we don't want to get in trouble, man. Oh. I have a good one. Hey, do us a favor. Just just pretend like we're not even here. No, sir. It's because I have a lot of guests. Yeah, yeah. I have a lot of guests that feel uncomfortable. They right. think that you're taking their car details, you know? Right. And if like when you say details, what do you mean? Like like like, like check their license plate, like who's driving the vehicle. Like we've had a lot of robberies in this. Right. Not robberies, but we've had a lot of break-ins inside this. This hotel. is a pretty nice area, though. Yeah, but you know with the license plate, I can't get any information. Only the DMV know, or a sir, police but officer. They feel really uncomfortable, you know. Yeah. Well, just let them know we're not here to do anything, you know, cause any harm. We're just recording. We're just a couple of guys with cameras. Mm -hmm. We're not here to harm anyone. We're not talking to anyone. We're not trying to bother anyone. We're just getting B-roll footage. Oh. But yeah, just do me a favor. Like, don't if you're gonna call the police, come back and let us know. So like, we have a chance to you know get out of here. We don't want to you know, we don't want I the police that, to give us a hard time. What is the reason for you guys Especially because you're already you know you're already on my camera. You know, and if you call the police, there's gonna be a lot of people watching. And be like, oh, that's the guy who ratted us out. And I don't want that, man. I want you. I don't want that. I should have known that. You know, like I, I, I didn't know. No, it's know? okay. Yeah, yeah, it's all right, buddy. I, I didn't know. Yeah, we're not trying to give you a hard time. We're just a couple guys with cameras working on stories. You know, we'll be gone in a half hour probably. Maybe a couple hours. That's fine. So, so, he, so you, he's giving you're giving us permission then, just to clarify. Um, okay, so I'm just an employee, like I said, sir. Okay. I, I'm gonna go ahead and talk to the general manager because okay. when they were making those complaints over the walkie-talkie. Who was making the complaints? Um, just guests that come in. To right. The hotel, they told me that there was a couple of guys recording. So. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and ask. Can him. you imagine if you were at Disneyland and you were taking a selfie and the 50 people behind you started complaining? In Amer in America in today's day and age. Pretty scary thought, huh? Well, we'd be happy to talk to the general manager if he wants to talk to us. Okay. Time. Yeah, but we're not going to go on your property. We're going to stay out in the public uh, easement. We don't plan on coming on your property. Although, no one's told us we can't. Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, you guys are open to the public, so I, I mean... I promise you that if they do... Like, if I, if I want to go have a steak later, I'm welcome to go to the steakhouse, right? Yeah, that's not, that's not part of the... Whole that's a separate entity? Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Once again, you're very handsome, sir. Well, let's see what happens here. Should we walk away and make him earn it? Oh, okay. Might be bringing the back up here. It's got this guy again. Maybe for security. Hi. Hello. How can we help you guys? How oh, no, we're, we're good. How are you? Very good. How are you guys doing? Good, good. We're doing great. What are we doing? Now we're just recording, taking some pictures, getting B-roll footage. Nothing nefarious, my friend. For what? Oh, I can't disclose that right now. It would jeopardize what we're working on, but we're just working on a story on the hotel. Other than that, we really can't disclose much. Okay. And, uh, I'm taking it. You're uh, Herberto, you got, here's you the got, security. You know that this is a private property, right? Yeah, yeah, we're not going to go on the property. We're going to just stay on the, the we're public. we recording inside the property, right? Oh, no, 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 but we're not going on your property. We're just staying right. on the public easement here. We're okay. on the easement. This is public right here. Yeah. Okay, but you guys are just pointing at me. You're not even asking me permission to record. Well, let me ask you this. Yeah, I mean, if you, you, you yeah, you, you approach the camera, man. Not the smartest thing to do. I mean, no offense if you don't yeah. want to be recorded. And I know you're just checking on your guests, you know, and your concerns. Right. Um, so I know you're doing your job, but, you know, right. like I said, just a word of advice. You know, you probably heard this before, but if you don't want to be recorded, don't approach the cameraman. Don't get their attention. Just an idea, just, just some friendly advice, my friend. Okay. You and can you imagine if you were at can you imagine if you're at Disneyland and you're doing a selfie and you had to get permission from the 50 people behind you? Alright, well I guess we'll uh, you know, so you guys gonna continue doing this. Right? Yeah, just yeah, for a little bit. We're not gonna be here right? yeah, we're not gonna be here all day though. We're just you know gonna finish up getting our footage and our shots, you know, maybe it's hard to say, 15 minutes, maybe 45 minutes to an hour. We'll be on our way. We're not planning on camping out here on the street. Well, I guess we'll, just do me a favor though, don't call the police though, because you know we just want to finish up our story. Why? Well, let me, let me ask you this, and to be fair, can, can I have your permission? No. If you're the general manager, you can authorize it, right? No, I cannot. Can, you guys have to come and ask first before you start. 
Well, let's let's start fresh. Let's. I'm I'm cameraman number one. This is cameraman number two. Can I give you some money? Can I give you? Can I offer you some money? Maybe to look the other way and pretend like. Uh, you sure? If you want to, maybe maybe a maybe a free maybe a free pass or a free free steak. Well, what kind of deal would you like to work out? I thought you were going to offer us something like maybe a free room or something, or I can go for a free room. Give us one of the suites. No, well, guys. Uh, all right. I don't well, think the GM old, likes us being out here. Oh, Darth Vader is going to go back into the Death Star. Oh, he's on the phone. Uh oh. Oh no. Hey, don't do it! Don't do it! Well, he's going to do it, guys. Do something. It is what it is, you know. Like I said, we're on a public easement. Hopefully We've never he won't once. Do anything that I wouldn't do. Now, he's calling someone, guys. He's probably calling the Palo Alto PD. And he, you know, I, if this was a part of their property, you know, he never mentioned that. He just said we can't point the cameras inward. So, like I said, this is a public easement. We've never once went on their property. Got the little, uh, yeah, the little Toyota coming out. Looks like it had a little fender bender of some sort. Right. Hello. Hi, how you doing? How you doing, sir? What, what are you doing? Oh, I, I'm doing a thing about the hotel. I got a fetish for hotels. Oh. Are you are you here to pick up somebody or? I drop off the, uh, the champagne to the customer. Oh, oh man, yeah, like Uber Eats or? Oh, okay. Oh, I see you got a bottle of... Well, drive safe. Take there. care. So he's just an Uber Eats guy. He was just he's dropping off gonna, some champagne. Give up that wine. He had a bottle of wine. There. All right, guys. We hung out for about another 15, 20 minutes. They never came back out. Um, Palo Alto PD never showed up. If I had to guess, they probably called and got educated. That's what it's all about, guys. Education. Mission accomplished. Make sure to go check out Nasty Nathaniel right there over on YouTube and tell him Anthony X sent you. You can also find me on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok, baby. That being said, if you want to help get me on the road a little more often and show support for my channel, there's going to be a donation link in the description. It's not necessary, but anything helps, and I'll definitely put it to good use. Make sure to pound that like button. Make sure to follow or subscribe. Show your support by sharing these videos. Last but not least, no bootlicking. Palo Alto, California, out of here, guys. We'll see you on the next one.